A very good evening to all the scholars. I welcome you all from the behalf of all education in the launching class of paper one. <clears throat> so before I start the class, I will have to uh, take some feedback from few students. Uh, many of you have appeared in the previous exam and many of you are on the verge of qualifying. But there are a few students who are still lagging behind and one thing you must have observed that paper one plays a very important role in making you qualify this net exam. Here we are not only talking about net exam, but here we are talking about overall development and creativity inside you. So in the chat box, uh, all those who have appeared in the previous exam, previous net exam, just write me in the chat box so that I'll be able to know who all have appeared and who all are uh, on the verge of qualifying. Just write me in the chat box if you have appeared the previous exam. Uh, one very common thing all of you have realized that uh, paper one plays a very, very important role in making you qualify the exam. Even if you fetch your 50% marks in paper two and if you are good at paper one, there is a bright chances of qualifying the exam. <clears throat> And uh, the feedback that I have got from various students, around 200 students are connected to me uh, who have appeared for the test, the previous test. And almost 90% of them said that uh, they could not reach their destination because they were very pay uh, weak in paper one. They paid late, uh, less attention to the paper one. Whereas there are a few students who said that uh, I secured 70% or somewhat 65% and that is the reason I'm on the verge of qualifying. So paper one is more important than any other subject. So that is the reason I have uh, started this mission because uh, in the last exam, uh, I have not started uh, classes for paper one and I saw that it is really, really harming my students who are preparing with me for paper two. So that is the main reason uh, I want all of you should qualify in just one attempt because time is very less. We cannot wait for years together to qualify. So uh, for you, uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to start my presentation before starting the class, where I'll be mainly talking about what are those things which are responsible for making you to make a better life as a student. Because all of you know that uh, life is a learning process. And every time, we cannot say that I have learned. Every time there is something left of, uh, for you to learn. So I'll be talking about a few important things which are important, more important than your books. Books itself will not make you qualify. Books is only giving you information. If you can hear me, I'll repeat it again. Books are only giving you information. And here I will talk about implementation. If you have the information, if you're not implementing it, it's of no use. It's just like our thought and action. We all have the thoughts. A lot of time we think that uh, from tomorrow onwards, I'll start waking at four o'clock and start studying. Tomorrow onwards, I'll make a study plan and a study for 10 hours or 12 hours. This is called thought. But until you bring your thought into action, your thoughts <laughs> are useless. <laughs> so it is similar to uh, your information and implementation. Information is all around. So many books are available, internet sources, you find, keep on finding informations are available on each and every topic, but how many information you are going to implement into your mind is more important. So my classes are mainly focusing about implementation of information, not getting the information. You can get the information. So many YouTube videos are there, so many internet sources or resources are there. I myself have sent so many PDFs in the various groups, but those are only information. Informations are all around. So what are those things which are more important than the information, than the books, than any study? That I go, I'm going to tell you before starting of the class. And uh, some of the students have newly joined me. Some of uh, have already a few classes with me in Net and Set. So I'm just, uh, my name is Prem Shankar Pandey and uh, I'm UGC and uh, Net qualified. Uh, I've also authored a bestseller book for English literature that is called Literature in the Field. Most of you would have this book and you know its relevance and power. 
So uh, today I'm going to uh, launch my classes for paper one. Initially, my classes will be covering the topics of GET exam because GET exam is very near. It is scheduled in February. So all those uh, topics which are there in GET as well as NET and SET. So those topics will be covered first so that it will be uh, beneficial mm -hmm. for GET students as well. Like logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning, uh, data interpretation. Uh, these are the topics that are there in common in both, this, uh, both the exams. So those topics will be covered first. So it's, uh, it's like a two-way benefit. If you enroll for one, you can get the second benefit automatically. So uh, <clears throat> before uh, talking about the paper one, I'll be talking about the six tips to get success. This is quite different from your information, content, and book. If you carry this six tips along with your book and classes, then only you are going to qualify any national level exam. I'm not talking about any simple exams. I'm talking about the national level exam. And these six tips are not created by me. It has appeared in a very wonderful book, Gita, Srimad Bhagavat Gita. And I am very sure it is not a religious book, it is a life uh, teaching book. And in the third chapter, this uh, shloka is there, which is given by Lord Krishna to Arjun when he has been flattened from his life and he gives the six tips to get success in his life. And I'm very sure the six tips are going to be very, very beneficial if we are able to implement these teachings of Lord Krishna in our lives. And he says that Utashana Nishyada Dharyata Tatta Karma Pravartanat Shanga Tyagata Sato Rata Tadibhira Bhakti Prashidya most of you are not able to understand it is written in Sanskrit language. So I'll explain these six tips one by one. The first one, the first word is Utsan. Utsan means uh, enthusiasm, excitement. When we get up in the morning, most of the, uh, us feel like lazy, most of us feel like uh, dull. You can write in the chat box, those who feel like this. That way when you uh, wake up in the morning, you do not feel your life full of excitement, full of enthusiasm. And that is the reason your entire goal is going to be planned according to that. You can write me in the chat box if you fall in that category. So that we will keep interacting with each other. So see, enthusiasm is very, very important. When you uh, wake up early in the morning, whether you are enthusiastic, energetic or you are dull and lazy. How, what decide this? I'll ask you, you a question. I'll not give the answer to myself. Uh, when you wake up sometime, uh, you put alarm, alarm to wake up at five o'clock and when the alarm rings, what message you give to your mind? What affirmation you give to your mind? Anyone, any scholar can put your mic on and tell me. If I'm audible. Am I audible to everyone? Sir, what you said? Repeat. Please repeat. Okay. And the question is, suppose you have put your alarm to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and when the alarm rings, so what is your next step? <laughs> <laughs> to snooze it. <laughs> No it. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So in the I, other way, I hit, I hit, I hit the alarm and sleep again. Okay. Yeah. So different, different reactions. Somebody put five minutes of uh, snooze. Somebody puts ten minutes of snooze. And somebody puts uh, completely off. Yeah. Yeah. So different, different reactions. So in other way, don't you think that we are giving some command to our mind, and mind accordingly goes and do for a sound sleep again. Okay. Isn't it? Yes, sir. That means our mind works on what we think. We thought that I should go for a five minute sleep 
automatically mind goes for a 5 minute sleep immediately within a second mm. one thing is very clear from this example that whatever the affirmation and idea we give to our mind our mind is just like a computer whatever the input you give it will give the output simple so there are a few affirmations you can note down if you can have if you have the pen and paper with you to keep yourself enthusiastic all the day when you wake up in the morning you say to yourself it is my decision to wake up at 5 o'clock i will wake up whatever the effort it takes because it was your decision to put the alarm at 5 o'clock otherwise you could have you could have put that alarm at 8 o'clock yeah <laughs> so decide whether you want to wake up at 8 or 5 or 6 and put the same alarm don't deviate from your decision this is making a belief system in the other way you are telling yourself i do not follow my decision i cheat myself every time so make sure that whatever the decision you make you will follow it the second yes, when you wake up in the morning say i am energetic just by saying this the way you are saying telling that yes let's go for a 5 minutes sleep this affirmation is just like the same you just have yes, to sir. say this i am energetic yes sir i am energetic <laughs> exactly <laughs> this is just saying it is going to bring a huge change inside you when you are telling that i am energetic i can hear uh, i think it is himlata am i right yes sir okay so when you are telling you must be feeling something inside you yes sir yes the you next uh, of yes i am enthusiastic yes i am energetic i am enthusiastic yes sir and one more affirmation that i complete all my tasks whatever i have decided i'll complete all my tasks whatever i have decided i'll complete all my tasks whatever i have decided whatever it is all my task all my task whatever i have decided yes exactly thank you hemlata so uh, these affirmations are make going to make you enthusiastic i'll repeat again it is not only the books that will make you qualify any competitive exam these are the six tips that you have to follow yes yes you can see here the when the two people are meeting each other how enthusiastic they are this shows your energy how much energy you carry inside you throughout the day that is more important <laughs> and once and once you are able to develop those enthusiasm there is no external force who can make your life dim exactly Because once once the enthusiasm has started coming from within no external source can dim this light exactly sir yes very meaningful very meaningful so all of you just write down these affirmations and say it tomorrow onwards when you wake up definitely whatever you decide in your life it is not only about exams and uh, paper 1 and paper 2 about everything you have you have to be energetic you have to be enthusiastic and you have to be in motion do not be stagnant do not be static the day you become static you will start rotting do not become static it you will be like a stagnant water when water becomes stagnant it is called mud but when it is moving, when i have decided to, when i have decided to learn no one can stop me when i have stopped to learn no one can teach me that's brilliant exactly <clears throat> so what we are learning here just to grow up someone might be thinking that i have been reading or learning since uh, last 3 years or 5 years 
my life has become totally uncomfortable so if you want to go in the comfortable zone if you want to become a stagnant water nobody can stop you it's your choice go and become the mud or keep growing in your life that is the other choice life is a question of choice okay coming to the second one nishyad or nischay that means determination whatever you decide you determine to that determination is uh, the other meaning of determination is focus just be focused whatever your goal is there be focused set your goal and focus towards that wherever you focus that thing will zoom in your entire energy will flow towards that because the cost of discipline is always less than the cost of lack of discipline so you need to be a disciplined man you need to be a determined man and it's not an overnight process obviously mm. <laughs> i'll give you one small story very small story one day a horse rider uh, was riding a horse and whenever a ditch used to come in between here yeah, you can find the ditch here so whenever the ditch used to come in between the rider used to say jump and the horse used to jump hmm. so one day uh, the rider started his journey and when the ditch came rider said jump the horse jumped again he continued his journey again the second ditch come the rider said jump and the horse jumped again hmm. continued the journey the third ditch came now the rider said jump and the horse jumped okay now the rider was tired he was feeling drowsy and when the next fourth ditch came rider did not say anything even though the horse jumped no oh. what is this this is setting up a pattern of determination when you continue doing the same thing again and again and again it becomes a pattern that means it's not an overnight journey you need to develop a pattern a habit inside you gradually it will become your habit to be determined to be patient so you just need to develop this pattern do not think that overnight i'll change myself no it's not possible so determination is again very very important part so just to make a determined journey of our education whatever the exam you are uh, preparing for whether it's a net set or get so i'll ask all of you to take few oaths along with me if you can if you are really uh, you are very serious you can put your mic on and we are going to take some oath which you feel from your insight that yes i have taken some decision i have some goal actually my aim is to fix some goal yes so sir. you say i will qualify net or get or set whatever you have in this upcoming attempt yes sir so i'm just waiting for all of you to repeat this because until you say it is my it is my oath not yours so when you say from your mouth it will become yours Yes, sir. I will qualify net and gate. I will qualify. This up. I will qualify net and gate. This up. Coming attempt. I'll qualify. I'll qualify this attempt. This up. Coming attempt. This up. Gate. I will qualify gate. Yeah. Do not hesitate. Speak up loudly because it is your goal, your oath, your aim. You are setting your goal. i will qualify net this time and i will take net again and i will score more brilliant brilliant and uh, i will take uh, i i will qualify gate <laughs> that's brilliant okay here is the next one i fetch minimum 80% marks in paper 1 that's your another goal i will fetch minimum 80% marks in paper 1 I will fetch minimum eighty percent marks in paper one. I will fetch minimum eighty percent marks in paper one. I score eighty percent for sure. 
that's brilliant brilliant when you speak up yourself you will find something some energy behind uh, inside you isn't it yes sir it's a kind of uh, yes, sir. happiness exactly exactly it gives a kind of happiness inside you because you say to yourself then mind listens to it when you say something and what about the percentage overall percentage must be the grf percentage irrespective of my age whether i am eligible for grf or not grf but whenever i'll hit the six my six will always be outside the stadium i'll not be floating around the cut off so that is another statement yes sir yes sir so you say like that the oath is not yes sir the oath is i'll achieve the grf percentage <laughs> i will yes, I, uh percentage i i will not uh, fall on the boundary line for net i i will cross beyond that uh, um boundary line and uh, i will score very good for net and i will qualify net i will achieve the percentage of grf i will achieve the percentage of grf that's very Yeah, some of the students are still hesitation. They are not sure whether if I will stick, really it is going to happen or not. But but at least you say you will feel a happiness inside you. You will feel some energy inside you. Absolutely. No, sir. Actually, this really works, sir. Obviously, yes, exactly. Yes. Obviously. The last oath that is most important one here in this class. We are not only learning the subject, but we are learning to be a good human being first. The last affirmation is I'll do whatever it takes me to achieve my goal. It's a very important one. I will do whatever it takes me to achieve my goal. I'll I will do, do whatever it takes me to achieve my goal. I'll do whatever it takes me to achieve my goal. I'll do whatever it takes me to achieve my goal. Yeah, thank you so much. So all of you, write your goal. Your goal is. next upcoming attempt whether it's a cake or set or any competitive exam the next attempt is the last attempt you will do whatever it takes so you need to do four things you need to be energetic and enthusiastic second thing you have to be focused and determined and the third one is keep patience the reason being most of you may not qualify the previous exam but do not lose your patience suppose this is a 10 km journey from point a to point b and if you have crossed 70% of your journey and that means 70% knowledge you have get yet 30% knowledge yet to be gained now you have the two choices here you fail at point f you fail so you have two choices whether go back to point a or again start from point f towards point b going back to point a again starting with 0% for something else where you are don't know anything so patience is very very important so whenever you fail in life you say that i did not come this far to only come i have come this far to go further because you know the darkest nights produce the brightest stars when you feel exactly uh, yeah that is the darkest part but the more darker it becomes the more light you will able to produce that you have to keep in mind very meaningful wow so whenever you fall down that is like an accident but staying there itself is just your choice Many time, uh, when you have made a routine and you followed it for ten days, suppose waking up at four o'clock and continued from four to seven, three hours of study, you may continue for ten days. Eleventh day, you fell ill, or some of your family members fell ill, and you could not uh, could not continue. That means you are falling down from your routine. So it is by accident. It is it is possible, but. whether you want to continue that in a accident state or you are reverting back to your routine that is your choice 
so it is just like falling in the mud and getting up immediately so that nobody can see you okay i'll emphasize with more emotion in hindi kabhi kabhi kya hota hai hum raste pe ja rahe hote hain hum kichad mein gir jate hain isn't it to sabse pehle hum ye dekhte hain main koi dekh to nahi raha yes sir isn't it and immediately we want to get up from there and jaldi se kapde saaf karke aage badhte hain falling down that was the next step but hame usi kichad mein lotte rehna hai maje lena hai और इमीडिएटली रिटर्न बैक टू योर रूटीन सो दैट इज हैविंग अ पेशेंस एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट तत् तत् कर्म प्रवर्तनाथ दैट मीन्स परफॉर्मिंग वेरियस एक्टिविटीज विच इज फेवरेबल टू योर गोल सो हियर यू आर गोइंग टू डू टू थिंग्स डू नॉट डू दो थिंग्स विच आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन योर गोल there are so many people for doing so many activities some of you have the excuses that i am married some of you may say i am uh, i am having a job some of you may say i have a child yes obviously you have have lots of responsibility yes but if someone else can do that you will be free to focus on your goal if you can have some maid servant by paying just 1000 or 2000 rupees and you can spare your 2 3 hours for focusing on your goal that means that is more important so you may have to do various activities which is favorable to your goal goal is most important you must need time to focus on your goal there is no easy way out to achieve any goal i have seen so many posts on facebook youtube and all just pay 100 rupees and get all the notes of your goal just uh, <laughs> just go through this four to five minutes of video and you will get 45 uh, 90 percent marks in paper one I am really surprised to see those advertisements. How people believe there is no easy way out of getting success. I tell you repeatedly, yes, there is a smart way, but there is no easy way. So do all those things today. Decide what are the things that you are going to stop. You may deploy someone to do those activities. You have to increase your production time. divide your time into two parts productive time and unproductive time your productive time should be more than your unproductive time so what you need to do accept the favorable and reject the unfavorable that is very important accept the favorable which is favoring your goal and reject the things which are not favorable generally we have a tendency we as a human being i am talking that we have a tendency to do the easiest thing we got to do what is right not what is easy but what we do actually we are getting busy in doing the easiest thing i'll give you one example few of my students uh, said two years back that i am weak in data interpretation Three years has passed. Still the same excuse. That means you are busy doing the same thing, easiest thing. But that was not the right step. You got to do what is right. The right thing is that you should focus on each and every aspect of that area. But no, I'll only focus on the easiest thing. My easiest thing is uh, uh, doing uh, communication, doing uh, research methodology. That is my easiest part. So I just read that part. No, <laughs> stop doing things which are easy and learn to do the right thing. Mm. <laughs> so I'll give you one advice to all the scholars at this point of time: that kindly analyze your paper when you get the paper back. Kindly analyze that out of five question in data interpretation, how many questions were right? One or two, sir. Yeah, that we have to find out, and only you will be able to find that which is easy and which is tough for me. Where I have to focus. Focus is very important. Find out in research methodology there are six question asked out of six. How many I have got? Two of six or three of six or six 
talk of six. Analysis is very important. So all those students who are going to be with me in this journey, I'll only accept them once they analyze themselves. Then only I can help you out. Where you are lagging, that is more important. I must know what the thing, what is the thing that you find easy. I will check it, sir. Yeah, definitely. Now, in the sloka, the next word is sangatyaga. Very important. Dissociate with negative people. Dissociation and association very very important. When the result comes, there are very so many people excited to know about your failures. You just say that I am failed, and they'll be very happy. <laughs> and most of the times we are fearful because of those people. What they will say about me? Oh my God! So I, I just say you that just have the power to digest the failure. Whatever you are doing in your life, keep it topmost secret. Do not share with your relatives, your so many friends that I am preparing for this exam. I am preparing for this exam. Keep this thing secret. It will save your energy. It will save your image. Sir, exactly, sir. I I hundred percent agree with this statement, sir. Yes, that is very very important. Do not publicize that I am preparing for this exam or this exam or this exam. And if you are not qualifying, those people will be the happiest people in the world. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I have experienced enough, sir. Yes. So just need to dissociate with such people who are always yes. ready to listen about your happiness. And yes. the six. number 6 tip number 6 and the last tip is again very very important that is shato vrata means follow the steps of successful people hmm. <clears throat> the people who are already qualified the people who have lots of experience follow their steps and to follow the steps the very important one is have a mentor in your life Do you have a mentor in your life? If you think no, then you must have one guru in your life, so that if you fall down, he will ask you to learn. He will ask you to get up. If you are uh, stuck somewhere, you think like now there is no life, there is an end of life. Then there is your your mentor, your guru. He will give you the hope. Many times we feel that this end is the dead end. There is no solution out. After this, but yes, one mathematics has ten solution to find the right answer. You might be stuck at one, but there is someone who knows nine or eight or ten more ways to get that answer. So select one mentor on whom you trust, on whom you believe. He may be near to you, with whom you can consult daily. He may be not near to you, with whom you may consult through audio, video, and all. but mentor is very very important and finally the last line says that did six steps of devotion gives you prashidhyati gives you fail gives you success so it is not only books which is going to make you qualify in your life i'm talking about not exam in your life follow these six steps very very important steps So now I'll just give you a brief idea about the course structure. What exactly we are going to study? We are going to study in this uh, only weekend, so that all of you can attend, irrespective of your job, your family commitments, your responsibilities. And we are going to have two hours minimum class that is from three to five. It may extend up to five thirty or six, depends upon the topic. This uh, classes will continue till exam. so there is no uh, doubt that i will forget the thing so this will continue up to exam where we are going to have the complete coverage of the prescribed syllabus and on every weekend after the class we are going to give extensive homework so that you will be busy for a week solving all those question that means focusing determination focus everything we are going to maintain including exhaustive classroom practice practice is more important just learning the things is not going to work as i said information is there but implementation has to be there my main focus is on implementation 
and i'll be sending the recording of every class so that you can if you are uh, uh, forgotten something you can see those recordings and you can ask your doubts any time we are available all the time the most important part is that uh, this time i have introduced termination of the students from the class if you are not following the homework if you are not performing according to uh, this uh, classes that we are providing if you are not serious not attending the classes regularly you are liable to be terminated with your fees refunded so that is a positive part of that you have to be in the win win situation you cannot say that sir has taken my money and he has terminated me this not like that so your money will be refunded because i do not like such students who are not serious even though i am motivating them i am making them to study even though if you are not then nobody can change you because life is a question of choice it is your choice where you want to go now uh, the most important thing is the fee structure many of the students tell me a uh, message that sir why don't you take the free classes <clears throat> so uh, we as a indian we have a very beautiful attitude that is faking the money back when you pay for something we actually fake back paisa ko vasool karna hai i give you one beautiful example of shampoo jab hum shampoo kharid ke laate hain when we start using the shampoo tab tak use karte hain jab tak uske ek ek bond ko pani se dho ke dho ke jab tak last bond ko use nahi karte hain that means we are wasting each and every penny of that shampoo what about colgate we roll karte roll kar kar ke tab tak nikalte hain jab tak uske ek ek penny vasool nahi ho jata hai so when you pay you will have the attitude of fetching it back when you don't pay anything you will not think of fetching anything isn't it this is attitude lots of examples are there 